Hi, this is the introduction for Network MT Light Framework uh, Remote File System Management. The Light Framework uh, like is uh, hosting uh, service uh, provider, and uh, we are providing shared hosting services for our customers. All the domains uh, actually on the same uh, VM, and uh, they have different uh, folders for their static files. To manage those files, they don't need to uh, log into the remote server, but they can uh, manage their file, uh, upload, download, and uh, navigate their file system through the uh, Light Framework itself. Let's demo how it works. I'll log in as a test user. You can see this user got roles user and admin. Basically, this, this user is admin of example uh, domain. And if you go to admin and uh, you can access file admin, this is the all the files uh, hosted on a shared server for the example domain. You can refresh because basically it's very fast because it's a local server. And uh, you can go back uh, to the previous uh, navigation, go to the parent folder, you can upload file, download file. Basically for download, you can just click the file name and you can open new folder. Uh, sorry, you can open a folder. You can just click the folder, it's the same. And you can create a new folder and remove file or folder and rename the file or folder. Uh, the current folder is, is displayed here. Right now is, is a dot, meaning you're on the root folder of your domain uh, file system. So now I'll just uh, navigate through images. You click here and just go to the image folder. And you can see all the files there and you can even go further to the uh, subfolder. And you can click here, navigate back. And you can click here and navigate to the parent. Back is uh, basically, it goes to the root folder. You can see we are back to the root folder. Now let, let's upload the file for, uh, here. I'll just upload one image file. Just open that, upload it, and you can see we got a comfrey blocking gpg is uploaded. And uh, you want to download the file, you can just uh, click the file. You can see it's the file is downloaded, and you can open from your local. Uh, this is a start upload download, and you can open the folder. You, I'll show you. You can do this. You can click the folder name, and cl click here, open folder. It's the same like just you click the folder name. You can create a brand new folder. Now I'm in the image, images folder. I can create a new folder. Let's create one. Let's say test. Okay. It's re automatically refresh. And where is the test? Okay, here we go. The, this is the test folder. I'll go to the test folder. And nothing's there. Let's upload the file. Open and uh, let's create a new folder here. Sub and let's go to sub, upload another file. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the parent folder and uh, let's delete this file. To delete the file, you select the file and uh, click this delete button. It give you a warning message and then delete. And you can delete subfolder as well. Like even though within this subfolder you have a file, it just delete the folder and the file. Okay, so it's gone. Let's go back to the parent. 
and uh, you can see if I want to rena rename the file, I can rename the file. For this file, I want to rename it. I select the file and I can give the file a new name. Let's name it the uh, cola h e g uh, dot jpg. Okay, so the file is renamed. Yeah, here we go. Uh, you can sort by the file name, uh, back and forth, and you can sort by the size and uh, the uh, last update time. So this file size and the path. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, this is how it works for uh, light framework hosting. If you want, you want to update your remote file system, so you don't need to give the customer uh, SSH access. They can just access their file system from uh, this interface. Thank you. Bye bye.